Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you how to how to pull, decompile, compile, sign your system UI APK. So you're gonna need a few things be, uh, before we start. I'm gonna include uh, the first download link, and the first thing you're gonna need is the seven zip. If you have a 32 bit uh, system use a 32 bit if you have 64 bit use a 64 bit link now I'm also going to include uh, a folder uh, well a zip file this one right here which is gonna include everything you see on the screen right now you are gonna unzip it using the same unzip I did right here and you take this folder and either you if you have a uh, the folder on your desktop or you're gonna click on start and usually the first on top is the your username and you're gonna place it here like I do APK tool and you're gonna have everything you need right here and then you're gonna open this folder um, this uh, notepad which has the download links for the next programs that you're gonna need you're gonna need Java so you click on the link or you select uh, copy and paste it and you go over here you download it you're gonna need uh, the development kit from Java so you come over here on this link and you click accept and if you have a 32-bit system you select this one the x86 if you have a 32-bit 64-bit uh, system 64 bit you select this one you download that to your computer uh, and install it and you also need this notepad plus plus which is the link is also on that the notepad so once you have everything installed and the folder where it needs to be let me select all of this in and delete okay so go over your phone and follow these instructions to pull the APKs that we need. Okay, so uh, let's pull system UI and both framework. Let's go inside uh, our system, go into system root, click OK, uh, go into system folder, and on the APP folder, that's where you're gonna find your system UI. On the framework folder, that's where you're gonna find the framework REST APK and the touch with uh, framework APK. So let's do this one first. Now you have to uh, unmind your system by touching the little lock on top. Select I understand, click OK, and look for your system, U system UI APK. It is select it, copy it. I'm gonna place it on my external SD card. Paste now. I go back into system root, system framework, and look for a uh, framework REST APK and the touch with REST APK. Remember, if you are on a, another device that's not Samsung you're probably going to have a lot more framework and you're also going to have to copy them copy it and we place it back onto our external SD card, SDK, SD card now all you have to do is uh, well before you do that go back and go into system and mine your system again just in case you don't mess anything up so all you have to do now is uh, connect your phone to your computer and uh, copy and paste all these three files to your computer. Connect your phone to the computer. Like so. And 
is replaced. Here are the three APKs that we pulled before. And we're going to copy them or pull them or select them and copy them and paste them to uh, the folder that we're going to be working on, the APK tool folder. Now you could uh, eject your phone from the system. You don't need it anymore. Okay, so uh, now you uh, all you have to do is uh, to begin, select on your keyboard shift and at the same time right click on the open window and select open window here. Now, open up this one that says read this and it has everything that you need to begin. So we're going to select this. I click it, copy, go to the dust window, we're going to paste, and select enter. Now select the framework rest APK. It's easier like this to uh, just select and copy. Make sure you don't make any mistakes. one now once you do all three of them you're gonna see them here inside that framework folder and this is gonna come in handy later now uh, we're gonna be working on the system UI right so uh, let's open up this one that says decompile compile commands so I already have it here and what you need to do is select this since we want to decompile the system UI and just select it and paste it as you can see it created a folder named system UI it's going to take a little while Almost done. So it's done. So once you it's done, you have your uh, decompile system UI here, and right now. You, get, you have access to everything if you want to change any of these uh, PNG you can do it uh, if you want to let's say you want to uh, edit something like color or something you, you, you need, you're gonna need have to need which one you're gonna choose and just and this is where the notepad comes in handy so you select edit with notepad plus plus and here you could, you know, make whatever you need to do. And once you have everything done, everything that you want to need, you want to compile everything again. So what you need to do is come back over here, select this, copy it, and click paste. And it's going to compile your system UI again. Now this is going to take a little bit. So don't worry. it says it's done but we're not done yet if you come over here on the system UI you're gonna see you have two additional folders see you're gonna have this one 
that's the bill and the APK itself so this is what we need to do you need to look for the original system UI which is this one right here right so you right click on it this was you need seven zip mm, we click or select open archive so we go back over here system UI which says build APK and you see this Android manifest select it delete it now on this open uh, 7 zip file which is the original system UI you select Android manifest and we drag it over here and the meta inf folder and we select it over here right you can close that out close that out again and go back if you want and select this again click copy go back to your uh, dust window or command window paste it again and we're gonna compile again so this time we go over here if you this is the one we just did if you use 7-zip to open archive you're gonna see that the meta M folder is now inside now this APK it is done and signed modified whatever you did now you all you have to do is connect your phone again to your computer drag this to your external uh, SD card and using the same uh, application open uh, or amount your system using the little lock on the top and drop this in restart your phone and that should be it thanks for watching and hope you liked it please give me a thumbs up thanks